Hello everyone, welcome to SecCaps Learning. This is Neer Singh and in our today's session we will be exploring about the load balancer like what is a load balancer and what are different types functioning of the load balancer and which kind of load balancer you can try in your lab like which load balancer you can install in your lab so we will be just exploring in today's session so that at least you go you get an idea about what is a load balancer because as you know in some uh, in some interview this question may be asked if you have uh, any idea about the load balancer so you need to give a valid or satisfactory answer otherwise they they might not select you because load balancer is a kind of a tool or you can say network device which is used everywhere whether you are using a uh, cyber arc or any other tools to distribute the traffic so we will just try to explore the load balancer so let's start with the uh, today's session so you can see these are the few topics which i will be covering in uh, today's uh, video so and also before starting the today's video please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel and also please share with your friends and this is one of the uh, like foundation series like previously i have made uh, some videos on windows linux database so you can watch those videos first and then you can just start with the load balancer so first of all what is a load balancer guys or lb you can say so let's understand with the example okay so let's take the example you have five machine four servers you can say or any any number you can take let's say i'm taking four okay and this is your load balancer so there is a requirement from your client and client is saying i want to equally distribute the traffic to the server because let's consider these are server 1 this is second and all three all four servers have the similar configuration just consider these are facebook servers okay and all four servers have same data but your client or your facebook is saying i want to distribute the traffic traffic means let's say on this server there are 100 users connected means 100 users are using facebook via this server on this server there are 200 users just for the example guys in production we will take the example of windows or unix just to make you understand on third server there are 400 okay and fifth fourth one is having 500 so you can see most of the traffic is going to fourth server then on third then second and first but there is a requirement to equally distribute the traffic so that your this server will not be uh, like cpu utilization memory utilization resources of this server will not be used much so load balancer is which is used to equally distribute the traffic we have different different mechanism in the load balancer like you can have uh, round robin you have a least connection etc there are different types of load balancer mechanisms are there so load balancer is a tool you can say it's a network device tool which is used to distribute the traffic so what will happen now if let's say users were connecting to these servers so what we will do we will let's say this is the user so in between the uh, user and server we will place a load balancer there so all your traffic will be going via load balancer so first you will use a url so you can use a load balancer url how it is configured in the organization and after that it will go to your server let's say and on load balancer also you can configure different policies like uh, as i discussed round robin and first uh, least connection so according to that algorithm load balancer will redirect the traffic to the server and generally in production guys we we configure this least connection can least connection so as per this what happens so let's say this one server is having less traffic only 100 100 users are there so load balancer will redirect to this only until it is not equal 
so let's say uh, this is now 500 so now it will start redirecting to this then it is 500 then to this so once all are equal then one by one it will be re, uh, redistributing the traffic means whatever load is coming because there is one more reason why we use the load balancer let's say you have four servers so all your traffic is going to this one which can impact the performance of this server so that's why load balancer is placed in between which will distribute the traffic which will distribute your load similarly in cyber arc you use for pwa psm the load balancer is being used and for other uh, tools also they are using load balancer to just distribute the traf traffic so that's your load balancer all about we have different types of load balancer guys you can say uh, we have like network load balancer is there then we have application layer 4 layer 7 GS gslb which is the one of the big load balancer global server load balancer uh, then we have this reverse proxy and on AWS also we have classic and application. There are lots of load balancers are there. And it totally depends your organization what type of load balancer they are using because it is handled by a network team. They handle the load balancer. And what type of load balancer they are using, it totally depends upon them. So that's the load balancer for you. It is used to distribute the traffic, whatever algorithm you have configured round robin least connection any algorithm but most of the cases it will be least connection only which will uh, distribute the traffic equally so that's your load balancer concept guys then why we use load balancer reason is simple because if you are putting the traffic on a simple machine so load will be high the it will impact the performance correct so that's why we need to use the load balancer and also fault tolerance. If let's say there are four servers and one server is down. So load balancer now nowadays load balancer are smart enough. They will not transfer the traffic or not uh, distribute the traffic to that server which is having issue. It will distribute the traffic to other three servers. So that's why we use load balancer in the organization. Types of load balancer. There are many types like your application network, then we have layer 4, layer 7, GSLB, then reverse proxy load balancer is also there. So there are different types and every load balancer, they have different functionality also. So it's totally depend upon the organization, what type of load balancer they are using. But in today's session, I will show you the load balancer that is based on windows that's the uh, windows based load balancer or you can say network load balancer which is a microsoft one so nowadays we have many advanced load balancer but earlier when there was not much load balancer we used to use network load balancer so let me show you how we can install so first of all you can open your uh, lab and one thing, if you haven't installed the VMware or Windows Server, you can watch our previous video, same series, foundation series. You will find different, different videos and you can just explore those and you will get the idea how to install these servers. So let's go to our server. You can come here, just click on server manager. And you just need to click on add roles and features then next next click on next and click on next you will find not network load balancer somewhere yeah this is the one select this and click on add features and you can go ahead with the default settings whatever have been checked click on next and install so it will start installing your not uh, network load balancing in in your system but in production guys this is not being used in the organization they will be using a different because it has some limitation using this we cannot uh, utilize the load because it belongs to windows server only and here you need to create cluster some network host and etc which we will be seeing in the 
next part so this session is just to show you how to install a network load balancer so you can see it is installed on this machine if you want to find out just click on tools and here can you see we got one option network load balancing manager so just open this and this is the uh, like console or you can say manager where we will be configuring our network load balancer thing you just need to create a new cluster and then we need to add the uh, different different servers where you want to load balance which we will be seeing in the next part so meanwhile you can just practice this try to explore it and i hope you got the idea some idea about the load balancer so thank you guys have a nice day